It doesn't sound right that you can make gold from herbalism without doing any gathering, but there is a way to do it. So let's go ahead and jump in and find out exactly how to make a ton of gold with herbalism. Okay, to understand this, let's jump into the game. And I'll show you what's going on. So as you can see right here, I spent 209,000 gold to buy 2,000 lore drop. And these are rank two quality. And the reason why I did that is because if you check the auction house right now, lore drop at a rank two quality is going for about 100 gold. It's safer to say about 105 per item. But if you look at the lore drop for rank three, it's going for about 550 and above. So where does everything come into play? Well, with herbalism, if you spec into Bountiful Harvest all the way, then you're able to refine herbs up to a higher quality. So, and since I've maxed out in Bountiful Harvest, I can refine any herb from a tier one to tier two to tier three. And all it takes is five of the previous tiers to go up to the next quality level. So what we're going to do now is take that 2000 lure drop that I bought and we're going to refine every single one of them into a gold tier lure drop. While this is going on, this is where I have to explain a few things to you. One, you have to make sure that the market is in the right spot to do it. Meaning that the price of a tier two item times five is going to equal less than the price of one gold item on the auction house. So in this example, each lore drop at a tier two rate was 100 gold, more or less. And since it takes five to convert it into a gold tier lore drop, then you multiply that number by five, which equals 500. But the gold tier lure drops are selling for about 550 and above on the auction house. That means before you get a payout, there's a 50 gold profit, but you have to take into account the 5% cut that the auction house takes. So let's go ahead and blast through these and then see how much gold we're potentially gonna make. And mind you, this is taking less than 10 minutes. Okay, now that I've gotten all of these lure drops converted over, we're ending with 400, and we're gonna jump into the auction house and see how much we can sell these for. So if I pop them in here, it looks like it's gonna be around 222,200 if I sell them at the lowest price in the auction house right now. So that sounds like a good rate. We'll go ahead and pop that in. And from here, we just wait to see if it sells. In most cases, it is going to sell. And a lot of times you're gonna see this. You're gonna see people underbidding you. Don't freak out if this happens because the market is fluctuating all the time and you could leave it at this rate and it's, there's a really good chance it's going to come back and revisit this price. I did 170,000 gold drop on bismuth last night before I went to bed and the moment I put it up there oh <laughs> okay we've already got 109 of them that just sold so there you go. But back to the story I was telling you about the bismuth everyone started to put their bismuth up for a much lower price than mine but I really wasn't worried about it because I knew that the market fluctuates very very frequently and when I woke up this morning all of my bismuth had sold and I made like an 8,000 gold profit so estimating that all of this lore drop is going to sell which it looks like it is right now if we do the math the total amount that I'm going to gain from this and also what it told me on the screen is 222,200 now that's not the total I'm going to get because you got to remember that there's a 5% auction house cut so if we multiply that by 0.05 that total is going to come out to 11,110. So we take the total sale number of 2,222,200 minus the auction house cut, which is 11,110. That leaves us with 211,090. And if we subtract the investment price of 209,000, 26, we get a total of 2,064. Now this isn't a huge, huge profit right here, but it's still 2,000 gold that I made without really having to do anything at all. And that's not to say that there aren't going to be really, really good deals later on. Yesterday I did one of these and I made 20,000 gold and I was able to do it in less than five minutes just because the market was in the right place at the right time. But if you're saying right now, well, 2,000 gold really isn't a lot and it's not really a lot. It's still a way that you can use a gathering profession to make gold on the auction house and that's a plus i will give a word of caution though make sure that when you're buying your mats you're not buying a tier one mat like right here lure drop is 72 gold for a tier one lure drop if you end up doing that then you have to convert it into silver and then from silver into gold. And that's what I did yesterday because I was in such a hurry and I was so excited that I wasn't paying attention to what I was buying. I bought all tier one mats. I've dropped like 190,000 gold on it. I ended up losing over 100,000 gold in the process. Shoot. Yeah, I made a big, big mistake. Big, big mistake. I just lost out on 100,000 gold. Oh, shoot. So yeah, don't make that mistake. If you see a really, really good deal, stop, analyze everything, and make sure you're buying the right mats at the right quality. But you never know what's going to happen with the auction house because it's so volatile right now, especially at the beginning of a season. Just make sure to track down how much you spent on your investment, the price that you're reselling the mats, because if for some reason it doesn't sell, you can pull those mats and hold on to them until the market reaches the price that you want to sell them at. So that way you are making a profit. So I hope this helps you guys who are gatherers in making some gold without having to go out and spend hours and hours and hours of gathering herbs out in the world. You can literally 
really make gold here in the auction house just by refining your herbs. If you guys like this video, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. I'm making a ton of World of Warcraft videos these days. And if you guys want to come hang out with me on Twitch, I do a lot of gym streams in the morning and then we transition over and do a lot of gaming streams in the afternoon. And if you guys really, really like this channel and want to support the work that I'm doing, then make sure to check out my membership options here on YouTube. Or if you don't want to do that and you still want to support it, then come on over to Twitch and you can subscribe over there. Oh, and just to let you guys know, in the time that I was making this video, all of my lore drops just sold. Not a huge profit, but still, it's a lot of fun. Anyways, I hope this video helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.